What's up everyone, Dave here, another exciting tutorial. And today I'm super excited because I'm gonna show you the AI stuff in Photoshop. I feel like I haven't been excited for Photoshop for a while, but I feel like my excitement is back and you'll see why. Um, so first of all, this AI stuff is just kind of crazy. I feel like it's just all over the place, um, but I want to talk about how Photoshop is integrating it, how it's doing it, and also stay tuned to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to show how to have your Photoshop do what I'm about to, to do because just off the bat, you're not going to be able to do what um, I'm doing. You have to download something special. So let me go ahead and get started here. Um, first thing I did was I went into bing.com slash create. And um, you can see that just kind of typing in some prompts. So for example, I could say like cartoon outer, outer space scene. Okay, and I could say, and then it's just, so I just type whatever I want, I hit create. It's going to process it and then it's gonna give me a result. And then all of the previous results are gonna be over here. You can kind of see some different ones I'm doing. And you can see that um, eh, I'm not really, Digging this, I'm gonna say maybe like um, you know, vibrant colors um, with planets and stars. Okay, and I can kind of keep describing what I want until I get something that I like, and um, and again, I'm gonna kind of play with that, and that's just kind of how I got started, but. We probably all know that. That's um, okay. There we go. Um, now again, that's kind of too watercolor. I'm gonna kind of um, keep playing with these prompts. So I feel like I came up with this. Okay. So I feel like this is kind of a cool um, image, and that's what I'm gonna kind of demo. So now what? Well, let's say if I wanted to extend this image, because right now it's kind of square, so I could go like this: image, canvas size. And I'm just gonna say percent, 150% bigger. And now it's you can see it's bigger. Now you might be saying, Dave, that's old school Photoshop. Well, notice this bar down here. This is where the magic starts to happen, okay? I'm gonna come over here to my regular select tool and I'm gonna select this blank area. And I'm gonna say generative fill. And then I'm gonna say generate. And now it's gonna think and it's gonna use AI to determine what the rest of the picture should look like. Now remember, this picture doesn't really exist anywhere, but it's just kind of using its brain, if you will, to think about what it should look like. I'll give it a minute here. Look at that, incredible. I feel like it even kind of continued this curvature of this. And you'll notice over here that when it's done, I can actually choose different ones. Okay, so there's slight variations. I kind of like that one, that looks really nice. Now I can go over here, I'm just gonna select this area. I'm the same thing. Notice I'm not even typing anything, I'm just saying, hey, generate this. Look at that. And now I can choose these other ones. I can say, you know what, I kind of like that one. Um, but maybe I don't want these planets in here. So I'm just gonna to go to my select lasso and I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna grab over the planets. And now I can go in here and I can type in remove planets. Look at that. Um, I could maybe go like this. I could go to this thing and I can go, you know, remove bright light. So I don't have to use my special Photoshop skills. I can just kind of describe what I want. And I'm kind of selecting the area that I think it it's, it kind of makes sense. I'm going to go, go like this. I'm just going to kind of go, let's see if I just do gender to fill and then generate and see if it kind of gets more of the stars. 
And let's not forget that if I wanted to use my Photoshop trickery and skills, I still can because I'm in Photoshop, right? Um, okay, super cool. And now maybe let's get crazy here. I want, let's say, an alien standing here. So you can see that this is AI, obviously. Um, and now I can select different aliens. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try again. So I'm just going to hit generate again and see what it gives me. And you can see that uh, I could keep doing this and kind of go through some different scenarios. Um, maybe I'm not really digging this, so I'm just going to kind of hide that layer. But again, um, anything that you want. Okay, maybe I want a, um, maybe I'll go like this. Maybe I'll switch this to this one, hold down shift, and I'm going to add, um, you know, create a um, rocky moon. And let's just kind of see what it does. Okay, awesome. Um, and then maybe I could say, let's see what if I if I did this. Make moon glowing. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's kind of more what I had in mind. But I feel like, again, you, you can see that you're just, again, using Photoshop and just kind of um, doing all this stuff. Now, here's, th this will even blow your mind. So I just took, you know, I started with an AI image and then I kind of adjusted it. But what if I did this? I'm going to go File New and I'm going to just have a blank canvas. And now let's do this. I'm going to go to um, Rectangle and I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to say uh, create, uh, or I don't even have to say create. I can say um, grassy field going off into the distance. Let's let it think. Okay, now I can kind of choose what did I have in mind. Actually, I kind of like that. Let's do this. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say, let's create a stormy clouds. Again, started with a blank canvas on this. For concepting or something along those lines, I mean, this is insane. And we're going to see if it kind of does a natural blend between kind of this grassy area and the sky. So very, you know, consistent, very nice. Um, now let's say I'm going to say an old run down house. Okay, and then let's try this. I'm, I'm gonna just say I want kind of um, maybe a some type of water. Okay, let's have a lake with reflections. Okay, now that kind of came up weird. Um, yeah, not really digging that. I'm gonna just try, um, I'm just gonna say lake um, and generate.
Ooh, interesting. So again, it's it's not always going to give you exactly what you want. I mean, this is pretty uh, extreme here, but I feel like, um, again, just play around with it, have some fun. I feel like, again, it's not giving us the perfect results all the time, but I feel like it's still in uh, beta mode, so it's still kind of in um, testing. But what's cool is I have done, uh, or I have uh, created water, so let, let me try this. And um, it did a nice job of getting the reflection of the elements in the scene. So I'm gonna say, you know, maybe like, let's try, um, large body of water. Um, let, let's try that. And again, it, it's interesting how it makes it cohesive with the image and try to blend into the image. Mm, still not. Okay. There, that, that's kind of a, a little bit better along the lines of what I want, but you can see, I, I don't know why it's trying to put this log in here, um, but you can still get an idea of, of the potential of how fast this is and um, just kind of some crazy things, um, you know, that you might want to try. So again, as promised, I'm going to kind of show how to get this to work in your Photoshop. Okay, so if you remember of Photoshop, if you're subscribing to Photoshop, you can log into your Creative Cloud desktop, okay? And if you don't have that, you can just Google search Creative Cloud, download it, kind of log in, and it should show all of your apps that you have, okay? And here's the regular Photoshop. Um, but what I need to do is I need to go over here to Beta Apps, and this one here, Photoshop Beta, is I would have to install. So if I didn't have it installed, I'd have to click on install. And then when it's done installing, I'd open it. So, and you can see that it actually has this white icon. Okay, looks like that. And it's called beta. So in, in other words, it's not ready for the kind of the general public yet, but you can kind of download it. And if you, again, like I said, a paying member for Photoshop, you should be able to download it for free and kind of play around with it. As you can see that uh, in some cases, it doesn't give the perfect results, but I think that uh, for the time that it was, it was just incredible, incredibly fast. Um, and this one, I, I started with an AI image and just kind of altered it. Uh, if, I, if I go all the way back here, I can see that this was my original image. And in a matter of seconds, or you know, I, I could get into something like this. Um, and then this, again, Let's not forget this was my original image literally nothing right and I kind of went like this just with prompts to Kind of guide it and kind of tell it some things and Again, how are you gonna use this? Well, I feel like I'm already using this in uh, Some cartoons that I'm doing for some clients and it's really fun kind of creating some fun backgrounds and just kind of um, and then that's actually where this one is coming into play um, and just kind of really fun to move a lot quicker and just kind of get some ideas flowing. So again, let me know in the comments how you're using this, if you think this is bad, if you think this is not the right direction, or if you're excited about this, let me know. I feel like there's kind of, everybody has their own opinion on this. It's just kind of all over the place right now, but let me know what you think. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content every week, new tutorials every week. All right, guys, talk to you later.